it's Halloween. Technically speaking, it's uh, it's past midnight on October 30th. So Halloween just began. The portal is open, as they say. Um, and I'm packing because Gabe and I are going back to Atlanta after oh two months or two and a half months or so of being in Florida because this is my first year as a person who owns a house. It's, but this is my first Halloween as a homeowner, kind of. So I get to pass out candy to the little kids. And we really decided to go today because we just didn't have any, we don't have anything to do for Halloween. And um, I found out that Madison's concert in Atlanta, like Madison Beer's concert in Atlanta is on Halloween. And we had actually already gotten tickets for the one in Fort Lauderdale on the 3rd of November. But I was like, you know what? It's probably going to be way more fun to go to Madison's concert on Halloween. So we're going early so that way I can pass out the candy to the kids and then we can hop on over to the concert. And the costume, I have been thinking about it since literally like early September and to be honest I feel like it's probably not as like fun as it could be. So my other options, um, I had a whole list. But I will say that with my new hair and um, and with the fact that this is one of my favorite kind of movies that not a lot of people know about. And it is like, it's a moment, you know, but people might be like, why aren't you dressed up? Maybe, possibly. Anyway, long story short, we're going as <laughs> Emma Roberts and Dave Franco on the movie Nerve that came out in 2016. And let me tell you something. That movie is one of the most underrated films of all time, okay? Script-wise, it is formatted so perfectly. And more than anything, it just captures the 2016 era so perfectly. Wow, the camera stopped filming and it didn't even tell me. That's so rude. Anyway, what I was saying when I was so rudely interrupted was that Nerve captures the 2016 era perfectly in a way that no- I've never done this before. These are full bars. Full bars. This is 
is so freaking exciting. Putting the bowl out. Always wanted to do this. thing about nerve it's absolutely iconic um, as someone who has studied screenwriting format nerve is like the epitome of a perfect screenplay in terms of formatting and you know following the rules um, and you can feel that because even if I've watched it a million times, it's still like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? Very suspenseful. And I really feel like no other film captures the era it was made in quite like it. No other film captures its era better than this movie, no matter what era it was in, pretty much, is my controversial opinion because it's true. Like the Adidas, the, you know, social media representation, the way that they portrayed it. Just teenagers in general, high school. Um, it's just a really great film and severely overlooked, so. We can't put our fancy bowl out there, okay? It's the only bowl we have. I use a freaking pan. What? You used a pan? Like for cookies, like a big tray pan. Will you change that? Because a little kid comes and knocks it over. Will you change my bowl? Rather a little kid come and knock it over and break it. It's not gonna break. Yeah, it is. It's glass. It's not glass. It is glass. Put a freaking tray out there. What the heck? Teenager. What there are you doing? That's, that's just the watchers. <laughs> All right, I'm a watcher. I dare do you. I dare you to scream. I don't know. <laughs> I'll scream. No, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> The guy got on us. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Have you not taken the cannon of Hilchika? <laughs> 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 